welcome to the theater at the MGM National Harbor, where in just under 30 minutes' time, 117 contestants will be hoping that this is their moment as they compete for the most coveted crown in beauty. We're only a few miles away from the capital, Washington, D.C., which has provided the backdrop for most of our filming this year. For pre-filming and judging the contestants, they've been divided into three groups, red, white, and blue. Let's meet the first group of contestants as they model their designer evening wear. Tisha Green, 24 years old, representing Antigua and Barbuda. My name is Madeline Cow. I'm 23 years old. I'm a law student and I'm representing Australia. I'm 24 year old Ashley Hamilton. I am a charity organizer and brand ambassador representing the Bahamas. I'm Paulina. I'm 23 years old. I'm a student at the Linguistic University and I represent Belarus. My name is Leida Suarez. I am 20 years old. I am belly dance teacher and I am representing Bolivia. I am Beatrice Fontora. I am 26 years old. I'm a law student and I represent Brazil. I am 25 year old Monique Brooks, marketing officer and proudly representing the Cayman Islands. I'm Antonia Figueroa, 21 years old, engineering student representing Chile. I am Natalia Short, 22, a trust office manager and representing the Cook Islands. I am Esther Mimel, I'm 20 years old. I am an engineer student and I represent Côte d'Ivoire. I'm Nadine Osama, I'm 18 years old and studying business and representing Egypt. My name is Elizabeth Grant, I'm a 20 year old psychology student and I'm representing England. I am Anunciación Ongene Esono. I am 21 years old. I represent Equatorial Guinea. I am Puja Priyanka and I come from the happiest place in the world, Fiji. 25 years of age, I'm a business graduate and a professional artist. I am Katie Masood. I'm a 24 year old environmental health graduate and I'm representing the Rock of Gibraltar. I'm Magalia Delson. I'm 23 years old and I'm student in law. Tonight, I represent Guadeloupe. Half a day, I'm Phoebe Tonight Palasak, a 17 year old student athlete, proudly representing the beautiful island of Guam. Shokokkan, I am Melania Espina, I'm 23 years old, I am a law student and I represented Guatemala. I'm Bambi Safia I'm 21 years old, I have my degree in international relations and I represent Guinea. I'm Sandra Maria Zaraujo Monteiro, I am 19 years old, I represent Guinea Bissau. Hi, I'm Nuria Gerard, a 25-year-old mini personality representing Guyana. Bonjour tout le monde, my name is Susanna Sofrida, 21 years old. I'm studying business management representing Haiti. I'm Natasha Manuela, I'm 22 years old. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm proudly represent Indonesia. I'm Alia Mirkimbaeva, I'm 18 years old. I study management and I represent Kazakhstan. I am Hyun Wong, 21 years old, studying fine arts and representing Korea. My name is Pirizata Subiaktuzi and I am 19. I am future lawyer and I am representing Kyrgyzstan. I'm Sandy Tab, 21 years old. I'm a business administration graduate. I'm representing Lebanon. Merva, my name is Antea. I am 22 years old. I'm a dancer and I'm representing Malta. Salud, I am Daniela Marin and I'm 17 years old and I'm a student. I represent my wonderful country, Moldova. Semeno, I am Bayerti Tsikalten Girl, 26 years old actress representing Nomadic Mongolia. Mingalava, I'm Yatir Lane, 18 years old student and representing of Golden Land, Myanmar. I am Cristiana Viana, 19 years old and represent Portugal. Hi, I am Lucy Kerr, a 19-year-old beauty therapy student representing Scotland. Bozu, I'm Kristen Barbier, age 24. I'm an account assistant and I'm representing Seychelles. I'm Maya Radi, I'm 26 years old. I'm a dental technician. I represent Slovenia. 
My name is Jinita Budi. I'm 22 years old, model. I represent Thailand. Hello, I am Audra Mari, a 22-year-old professional model and television presenter representing the United States of America. I am Diana Croce, 19 years old student, and I represent Venezuela. My name is Truthy Yung, 26 years old, an investment associate and representing Vietnam. Shut my eye. I'm Fiona Moyle and I'm 23 years old. I'm a health and beauty consultant and I represent Wales. When we come back, we'll meet our next group of contestants as we search for Miss World 2016. Welcome back to Miss World, and let's meet our second group of contestants. I am Camila Macias. I am representing Argentina. My name is Tagana Stankovic. I'm 20 years old, and I'm an international business student. I'm representing Austria. My name is Lindsay Fjans. I'm 22 years old, and I'm a third year med student. I represent Belgium. I'm Halida Kajic, I'm 19 years old, and I represent Bosnia and Herzegovina. Hello everyone, I'm Anastasia Lim, a 26 year old actress representing Canada. Zdravo, I'm Angelica Zakinia, and I'm 22 years old. I'm studying at the Music Academy in Trieste, and I'm representing Croatia. I'm Natalia Kutkova, I'm 22 years old and I'm a student of marketing communications. I'm representing the Czech Republic. I'm Deritza Reyes, I'm 22 years old, I'm a journalism student and I'm representing the Dominican Republic. I am Ana Cortez, I'm 21 years old. I study communication I represent El Salvador. I'm Andrea Moloto, 25 years old and I represent the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I'm Morgan Edwige, I'm 20, I'm studying tourism, and I represent France. I'm Victoria Kocherova, 21 years old bachelor degree student, and I represent Georgia. I'm Selina Kriegsbaum, a 21 year old bank clerk from Germany. I'm Anna Laura Orwowska, I'm 22 years old, and I am representing Iceland. Ciao a tutti, I'm Giulia Tropea, I'm 17 years old, a student, and I'm from Italy. 
I am Ashley Barrett, a 21 year old major, and I am representing Jamaica. I am Elena Kings, 18 years old, and I am representing here, my country, Latvia. I am Asmi Shrestha, age 23. I am a graduate, and I am representing Nepal. Hello, I'm Rachelle Reines, 24 years old and studying my master's degree Health and Society. I am representing the Netherlands. I am Carla De Beer, a 24-year-old human resource trainer, representing New Zealand. I am Maria Laura Ramirez, 19 years old, and I represent Nicaragua. I am Debbie Chinasa Collins, representing Nigeria. I'm Alessandra Bueno and I'm 25 years old. I am so proud to represent my beautiful country, Panama. I'm Stephanie Del Valle, 19, studying law and communications, and I'm representing Puerto Rico. I'm Yandel Rebojska, I'm a junior self, and I'm a professional bowling dancer from Russia. I am Jenny Mutisi, age 20 years, and representing Rwanda. Bravo, I'm Katarina Shorkic, I'm 18 years old and I represent Serbia. I am Aminata Adialin Bangua, I'm 22 years old and representing Sierra Leone. I'm Bama Patmanadin, a 24 year old law student representing Singapore. I'm Christina Chinchuva, I'm 19 years old and I'm studying English language and culture. I represent Slovakia. I am Dandien Gosigunene, 24, I'm a qualified teacher and I represent South Africa. My name is Akwanya Yun Jogut, I'm 22 years old and I'm representing South Sudan. I'm Amrita De Silva and I'm 23 years old, a professional model and a school teacher. I represent Sri Lanka. I'm Latoya Mofa, 23, I'm representing the island of St. Lucia. I am Daniela Wilkett, I am 25 years old, representing Trinidad and Tobago. My name is Miriam Hameni, age 24, I am studying multimedia and I represent Tunisia. I am Busse Skanderolo, I am 19 years old, studying in advertising and marketing and I represent Turkey. I am Leah Kagasa, 21 years old, a student of marketing representing Uganda. I'm Oleksandra Kucherenko, 19 years old, studying cinematography and television. I represent Ukraine. I am Kirill Thomas, a 19-year-old sophomore, proudly representing the United States Virgin Islands. We've met two-thirds of our contestants. After the break, we'll meet the final group. Don't go away. Welcome back to Miss World. Take a look at our final group of contestants, the blue team. I'm Andra Kovace. I'm 21 years old. I'm representing Albania. I am Lainette Agrela do Nascimento, 23 years old and proudly representing the one happy island, Aruba. I am Iris Alguero, 20 years old, studying accounting and representing the beautiful Jammu Belize. I am Tata Kinesi. I am 21 and currently a double majoring student representing Botswana. I am Kadir Turnbull, 25 years old, personal assistant and representing the British Virgin Islands. I am Galina Mikhailova, 26 years old, the director of a charity against human trafficking. I am representing Bulgaria. I'm Kongji, 20 years old, and a student in college. I represent China. I am Shirley Atortua, 23 years old. I am representing Colombia. I am Melania Gonzalez, 26 years old. I represent Costa Rica. I am Sabrina Namia Sicrasto. I'm 20 years old. I'm a law student, and I'm representing Curacao. 
I am Maria Moraru, I'm 23 years old, I'm studying shipping and I'm representing Cyprus. I'm Helena Heuser, I'm 20 years old and soon I will be starting to become a dietitian. I'm representing Denmark. My name is Mirka Cabrera, I am 22 years old, I am a teacher and represent Ecuador. I am Heta Salinen, I'm 21 years old, studying economics and I'm representing Finland. Antoinette Delali Kemavo is my name. I'm representing my beautiful country, Ghana. I am Kelly Webster, 18 years old. I represent Honduras. My name is Timia Galanche. I'm 22 years old. I'm a student and I'm representing Hungary. I'm Priya Darshni Chatterjee and I'm 20 years old. I'm a sociology student and I'm representing India. I am Neve Kennedy, 21 years old, studying international finance and economics, and I'm representing Ireland. My name is Karin Alia. I'm 18 years old. I represent Israel. I am Priyanka Ishikawa, and I am 22 years old. I am an art therapist, and I am representing Japan. I am Evelyn Jambi, a 22-year-old interior design student. I am here representing Kenya. I am Natalia Tosai, a 21 year old nursing student, and I'm representing Lesotho. I am Tatiana Kumar, and I'm currently 18 years of age, and I'm very proud to represent my country, Malaysia. I am Veronica Lass, 20 years old student in tourism and management, and I'm representing Mauritius. My name is Anna Dura, I'm 25 years old, I am representing Mexico. Bravo, Yasin Katarina. I'm 22 years old. I'm representing Montenegro. I'm Emma Carza, a 21 year old final year psychology student. I'm representing Northern Ireland. My name is Simone Freita. I am 21 years old and I am representing Paraguay. I am Pierina Wong, 26 years old, and I'm here representing Peru. My name is Katriona Gray, I'm 22 years old and I work as a model and singer and I proudly represent the Philippines! Dzień dobry wszystkim. My name is Kajet Ninkiewicz, I'm 19 years old and I represent Poland. I'm Diana Dino, I'm 26 years old and I'm representing Romania. My name is Raquel Tejedor, I'm 20 years old, I study psychology and I represent Spain. Hey, Samuel Samons. My name is Emma Strambe. I'm 20 years old and I'm representing Sweden. I'm Lena Edward, 18 years old, finance student from Tanzania. I am Romina Troto, 19 years old. I'm a student and a model and I'm representing Uruguay. There you have it, we've met all the contestants. As we shall now see, the opening ceremony took place at the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C.
Welcome back to Miss World. I'm here with one of the head hosts of the night, Jason Cook. What's up, Frankie? How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm ready for you and Megan to get on stage and blow everyone away. So are we. We are looking forward to it. Right now, we are standing here with the judges. These people are the most important folks of the evening. They will be deciding the next Miss World. I think we're going to have a quick chin wag with them, are we not? Absolutely. Karina, what are you most excited about for tonight? Oh, I'm very excited. It's uh, a wonderful show, and it's uh, a huge celebration of all the hard and fantastic work that these women are doing all around the world. I'm really pleased to be here. Excellent. Well, best of luck. Well, Nelia, what are you, what are you looking for as a judge? Well, I'm looking for a girl who has a great personality, intelligent, beautiful, and somebody who can represent the organization Beauty with Purpose. So. Thank you. As a former Miss World, what do you want to see from, from our contestants tonight? I just want to see them enjoying themselves, um, having the best night of their life. And um, as a judge, I'm looking for um, a person that can be a brand ambassador for Miss World. Just like you were <laughs> and are. Jason? Yeah, I'm here with Ksenia Sukanova, one of the coolest last names in the world, that's for sure. Ksenia, what are you looking for tonight with the girls? I'm looking for the uh, grace, charisma, mm -hmm. for the new Miss World, for the fantastic show. And I'm just really excited to be part of this beautiful and amazing yes. show. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's a very exciting show. And Ken Warwick, Ken, you've been part of the Miss World organization for quite some time. You've been looking at the, the girls. What is it from a, from a man's point of view that you're gonna be involved with the, you know, with the judging? Well, what I'm really looking for, you see, the thing is that the charity, the year's work that this girl has to do is really quite demanding. She's not just got to be able to look gorgeous in her, her makeup and her evening gown. She's got to be climbing up mountains in jeans and a T-shirt, and she's got to have the, the presence and charisma to actually carry the part off, because she's got to have a sense of humor, because some of what you see is going to see isn't going to be pretty, uh, and she's got to have a heart, because she's got to care. So it's a big order. Yeah. It's a definite big order because the beauty with the purpose aspect of this organization is one of the most important things. So in a few minutes, we'll be broadcasting live to 200 countries as the 66th Miss World finale begins. At the MGM National Harbor, this is the 66th Miss World Final.
Please welcome your host for this evening, star of TV and film, actor and director, Jason Cook, and actress and TV star, Miss World 2013, Megan Young. Welcome to the MGM National Harbor, a breathtaking new resort on the banks of the Potomac River. What a great night we have ahead of us, right? We do have a great night. Oh, it's going to be great. And at the end of this night, we are going to be crowning the 66th Miss World. And you know how fitting to have the most glamorous night of the year also and the first major television event at the theater inside the MGM. And it's just outside the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Stone's throw. Stone's throw. And you know what? It's a huge resort. They actually say you can fit the casino in the casino, the White House. Is that? Is that? That's true? what they're saying. I mean, I believe this place is huge. <laughs> it's huge. However, this night is to celebrate female achievement, and they are all very excited about this because the achievements of these women, 117 of them representing their nations, are all going to be on this global stage. Now, don't forget, you have to download the Miss World app. It's free, and you can vote for your favorite contestant. Details can be found at MissWorld.com. Voting ends at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That gives you 30 minutes to vote for your candidate. And we have a roving reporter for the we show. We do. We have a roving reporter, Frankie Chena, who's somewhere out there in the audience. Frankie. Frankie. Thank you, Jason. The energy out here is fantastic. I'll be spending some time with the families of our contestants. But first, when Miss World returns, it's our first Fast Track event, Top Model. Okay, so this year we have done away with the scoreboard and we have 20 spots in our quarterfinals. Five spots have been determined by our fast track events. It's multimedia, top model, talent, sports, and of course, the most important, beauty with a purpose. So we're beginning our first fast track event. Now let's see how the contestants did in their search to become Miss World's top model as they took to the stage in breathtaking collections of Asian, African, and Latin fashion. Our annual fashion show is a chance for Miss World contestants to showcase the work of some of the world's most talented designers. As I am wearing a Venetian dress. I absolutely love it and I feel like Alice in Wonderland. I feel so pretty in this dress and I can't wait to walk on the stage. I hope I can do well for China. The winner of tonight's fashion show will be chosen for her style and elegance on the catwalk. If you win the Top Model Fast Track Challenge today, you get automatically a place in the top 20. Tonight's show features the work of designers from across the globe, and they hail from Kenya, Indonesia, and Puerto Rico. Tonight, the dresses for me is more classic and uh, princess type. Uh, so uh, it's more a bit ball gown and also a uh, type of a princess. The theme was something to market Kenya as a tourist destination. Each designer is expected to produce work that reflects their own environment, but which is also pleasing to the eye and successful in its own right as a unique one-off fashion statement. This competition is very vital in this world because it also like promotes the designer from different countries. Some of tonight's sensational gowns are from Kenyan designers and are inspired by the environment and cultures of Africa. Each designer brings his or her own individual style to their work. Contestants from the blue team will headline the African designs. in from Puerto Rico and they bring with them a dazzling range of dresses that reflect the vibrant nature of the happy Caribbean island. 
Expect bold colors, sweeping lines, and a riot of style that mirrors the positive sunny nature of the island and its people. Models from the white team are showcasing these dresses. The 2013 Miss World Grand Final was held in Indonesia, and tonight their designers have come to us with a stunning showcase of the best of Indonesian fashion. The country is well known for its burgeoning fashion industry, and much of the contemporary design is bold, innovative, and cutting edge. And it's the red team who are flying the flag for these designers. We've seen some fantastic design work from around the world, and our contestants have done a great job of showcasing a stunning display of hot couture. I'm really happy and then feel really amazing and fantastic. During the show, our judging panel have chosen this year's top model. Always a difficult choice. And Miss World's top model is People's Republic of China. I'm happy the judges choose me as a winner. I'm very proud that I can represent China to win this competition. Congratulations to the People's Republic of China. So our next three events are multimedia, sport, and talent. So let's see who came out on top. Fast track events are always an important part of the Miss World competition. A good way to get one step closer to the crown. With the popularity of social media, more and more of what we do at every event is available online 24-7 and uploaded by the contestants themselves. Just like they did at our sports fast track. At the 2016 sports challenge, there's three teams of eight contestants each with their teammates on hand to provide plenty of support. Let's do it! First up is the sprint event, and the contestants will have to show their speed over a short distance. The first heat is won by the blue team, but can they maintain their early lead after Croatia scores for the white team? I gave everything up. I mean, so I think that that's it. As the heat continues, the red team start to edge ahead, and by the end of the round, they have something to celebrate. We just did the 50 meter dash, it was so exciting, and Malta won it for the red team. There's still time for the other teams to catch up, and the long jump is next. The reds go first, and do particularly well with an amazing jump from the Cook Islands. And try as they might, the blue and whites can't quite match it. Next up is the shot put. The Blues go first this time and have a great round. But the Reds follow and once again, Cook Island shows what she's made of. The white team go for it, but not everyone has the technique of the Reds. So it's all down to the team relay to determine the final team and individual winners. The race starts well for the blue team with a good handover for the first relay. But there's a slight fumble on the second that gives the Reds an advantage. And a tiny hesitation by Scotland lets Malta race ahead, making the Reds unassailable. Deservedly, the Reds are the team winners, and Croatia and Malta take second and third place individually. But who is number one? Kokoya! It's just surreal something I've heard about me and Miss World, so go Kokoya! Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to New York City. Our next award is for multimedia, and it reflects how well our contestants have communicated with the rest of the world, both here in the U.S. and before they arrive. 
Through online videos, photos, postings, and blogs, they've been flying the flag for Miss World and Beauty with a Purpose for weeks. Thank you guys, favorite thing. Thanks for taking care of us. We, we love, love you. you. This time around, the competition has been stronger than ever, and Washington's been a red-hot hub of media activity. And the 2016 multimedia winner is... Philippines! For the last few weeks, we've been taking the world along on our journey, using all the available apps, the Miss World website, and for the first time, Mobstar, where contestants can upload videos of themselves and the public can vote for them. Uh, it's been crazy for us. We've had like 30 million hits in the last two weeks, uh, four and a half million votes. Um, that's just because we're associated with an, an iconic brand like Miss World. One fast track open to the public vote was talent. And our 10 fabulous finalists have been accumulating votes for some time. It's been a close call with thousands of votes cast. Just pulling ahead, the winner is Mongolia. So congratulations to the Cook Islands for winning sports. She's very fast. Philippines for multimedia. She's better connected to the world than anyone. And Mongolia for being our talent champion. Now, I know everyone in this room wants to see exactly what that talent is. Am I right? All right. Well, let's welcome Miss Mongolia to the stage. When Miss World returns, it's our most important event, Beauty with a Purpose. At Beauty with a Purpose, we are redefining the way we care for our skin and the ways in which we can give back to our communities. I'm Michelle Celeste Sill, and I created the Miss World Beauty with a Purpose skincare and cosmetic line to feed and nurture your skin and your community. For every product purchased, we provide a meal to one of the 66 million children struggling with hunger across the world. I am honored to be the brand ambassador for Miss World a company that does so much to enrich the lives of millions of people in need across the globe. All right, you want to hear? Okay. All right, so what was the girl's reaction to the product, like, from your perspective? First of all, I just want to say hello to everyone, and thank you so much for the beautiful introduction. The girl's reaction was fantastic. They absolutely love the product, not only because it's good for their skin and the environment, but also because it feeds hungry children around the world. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Michelle. So what Michelle's talking about is the, the cornerstone of Miss World, which is the beauty with a purpose. It's the most important event of the Miss World Festival. So why don't we take a look at, and see who's in the final five. Every year, our contestants come to the Miss World final with information about their individual beauty with a purpose projects that make a real difference to countless lives around the world. Beauty with a Purpose has been part of Miss World since the 70s and has transformed the competition by ensuring that all the contestants become willing participants in life-changing initiatives. This building may not look like much, 
there is a lot of work to be done. But with a lot of hands, a lot of hard work, and a little love, this really has the potential to become a wonderful learning center for the children of Smoky Mountain. Most are ongoing, and the films that we've seen allow us to judge the impact that the projects are making and the promise they hold for the future. Miss World Kenya is traversing the country to ensure that we end FGM. This year has been more impressive than ever, with a diversity of programs that are wide-ranging and imaginative. Her story inspired me to spread awareness against the scourge of sexual abuse and also help victims like her to get justice. Judging the top Beauty with a Purpose films is no easy task, and the judges were moved by many of the schemes and the way in which they have made a real difference in so many communities. The judges have chosen a short list of five exceptional projects, and the finalists are Philippines, Nepal, India, Indonesia, and Kenya. Now it's time to find out who this year's Beauty with a Purpose winner is. Congratulations to our five finalists for Beauty with a Purpose. Now the new Miss World will be making a visit to all of your countries to support your causes, but there can only be one winner, and the winner is... Congratulations, Indonesia! Okay, so congratulations, Miss Indonesia. If the camera just wants to walk over to me, with me. We're going to meet some of the judges, the folks who were looking at these videos. Now, I'm here with Stan Reynolds from Variety International. And Stan, what was it in the Beauty with a Purpose video with Miss Indonesia that you found so touching? Well, it's an amazing thing. Beauty with a Purpose is the jewel and the crown of Miss World. It's a fabulous project. The projects that the, the, the Miss World contestants have and the judges, Marsha Ray and John and Jody and I and the rest of the judges, we have such a difficult time choosing because they're, they're fabulous projects but we felt one really stood out, and, and that was Indonesia. You look at kids scrounging in a dump for food to grab an old piece of fruit or something and to put metal. It's, it's a marvelous pro, pro, pro program, and now they're building a school. Instead of being on the dump, they're gonna be in school, and it's, it's so Indonesia kind of stood out, but, but the rest of them were fine too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many, so many wonderful Beauty with a Purpose causes. Is it not, Marcia? Oh, Miss World Beauty with a Purpose is the most amazing phenomenon. What's happening around the world because of Miss World is unbelievable. In 140 countries, there are either charities being supported or new charities happening because of Miss World, it really is making a difference in this world. Absolutely, and let's, uh, let's see that difference right now. Let's roll a VT so the folks at home can know. Heaps of garbage in its final disposal is the place where the scavengers and their children spend most of their time to make a living. Due to the lack of education and skills, they are forced to live such a hard life. The children must break free from this circle. They must see that there is a different life that is clean and safe outside the dump site. Our first priority is helping the renovation of the local informal school. We must make it everlasting so the children can have a proper education. Yeah! A wise quote from Nelson Mandela once said, Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Not just give the motivation, I also encourage the parents to live this life by giving them training on how to cultivate premium catfish, make catfish plus, and ways to market it.
I hope that this will lead them to a new life for the whole family. It will give all the members a chance to rise and pursue their dreams. These people and their children deserve the same opportunity to live a dignified life away from the land of garbage. When we return, the top 20 will be revealed. Don't go away. performance by the ladies you ladies did well but now it is time to announce our 20 quarter finalists beginning with our fast track winners and our first quarter finalist top model winner people's republic of china
She's joined by multimedia winner, Philippines. Sports winner, Cook Islands. Talent winner, Mongolia. And our Beauty with a Purpose winner, Indonesia. So now it's time to reveal our judges' picks. And the first of them is France. Our next quarter finalist is Kenya. And she's joined by the United States. Congratulations to our next quarter finalist, India. And our 10th quarter finalist is Slovakia. So we're halfway through. Our next quarter finalist, the 11th quarter finalist, is Belgium. Please congratulate Puerto Rico. And next, it's Australia. Well done to Thailand. Our next quarter finalist is Brazil. She's joined by Ghana. Just four places left. Our next quarter finalist, Japan. And now, Dominican Republic is in the quarter final. Two to go. First one is Hungary. Nineteen places filled. Our twentieth quarter finalist is Korea. Please show your appreciation for the twenty quarter finalists in Miss World 2016. So there you have it, our top 20. Now, now we wipe the slate, slate clean and meet tonight's judges because it is this panel who is going to be determining tonight's Miss World 2016 winner. So let's meet them. Dr. Karina Tyrell, Miss England 2014. Guinelia Lady Forsyth, Miss World 1975, Puerto Rico. Andrew Minerick. Hairstylist extraordinaire and a wonderful smile. <laughs> Linda Pedestrotta, Miss World 1988, Iceland. Mike Dixon, musical maestro. Ibu Liliana, Tano Yusudijo, Commissioner of Media, New Santara Citra Group. Julia Morley, Chairman and CEO of the Miss World Organization. <laughs> Ksenia Sukanova, Miss World 2008, Russia. 
Ken Work, Hollywood TV director and producer. Donna Darby, stage manager and a wonderful choreographer for Miss World. And Azra Atkin, Miss World 2002 from Turkey. Thank you for joining us. And keeping tally of our scores for the evening, Blink Horns. So, judges, let's have that closer look at our quarter finalists. So now, judges, let's meet all our contestants in black dress, beginning with a 21-year-old fashion student representing the People's Republic of China. Her motto's no pain, no gain. And she also won our top model competition. Next up, Catriona Gray, representing the Philippines, our 22-year-old singer and model who won multimedia. Cook Islands, Natalia's a 22-year-old office manager, passionate about sport. Now Mongolia, Bev Setseg, 25-year-old actress and talent winner. Next up, Indonesia. Natasha, 22-year-old social entrepreneur and winner of Beauty with a Purpose. Now we have France. Morgan is just 20 years of age and a semi-pro high jumper. Kenya is Evelyn, 22-year-old student. She says, spread love wherever you go. Hopefully some more tonight. Local United States winner, Audrey's here, 22 years of age. And she following the footsteps of Alexandra Mills. India, Priya Dashani, 20 years old. They've had many past winners. Could it be their night? Now we have Slovakia, Christina, 19 years of age, who wants to study abroad and learn many languages. Belgium, representing Europe here. Lantry's 22 years of age, and she wants to be a doctor. A big favorite with the crowd here. Puerto Rico is next. Stephanie's 19 years of age and a law and communications double major. Australia, Madeline, 23 years of, old, of age. Two Australians have won the Miss World title in 68 and 72. Next up, Thailand, Janita's 23. She wants to be a woman of value and to be a perfect woman in her life. Now Brazil, Beatrice, 26 years of age, says her proudest moment, apart from being Miss World, was getting into law school. Our 16th quarter finalist, Ghana. Now she's Antoinette's 20 years of age and she's studying to be a pharmacist. Please now welcome Japan. Priyanka's 22 years of age, kickboxing, or wouldn't be arguing with her, and also likes painting. Dominican Republic, a big, very popular here. Yoritsa's 23 years of age. She says, if you can dream, you can do it. Now, Hungary, Timmy is 22 years of age. Happiness, when you don't want it, is not worth having, she says. And finally, Korea, Hyun's 21 years of age, and she says, the proud thing she's prouded of is hosting the Winter Olympics. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, your 20 quarterfinalists. Congratulations to our 20 quarter finalists. Yes, and the contestants took a break from rehearsals and had a once in a lifetime trip to the Big Apple, New York. It, New York. What? It's, it's, it's New York. New, New York? New, New York. New York. New York. New York. We're gonna, actually, that was perfect. Let's roll the VT. New York. <laughs> Woo! New York! <laughs> Welcome aboard the Baton New York. We're of New York City, seeing everything from the water, which I think is incredibly special. I love, 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 love New York. <laughs> and then we're gonna go and have a view of the Statue of Liberty. And we're also going to get to go to Times Square today, which I think is the most magical part of the city. And then we're gonna end our time in New York City at a Broadway show. You know that you're <laughs> once you did a Central Park walk, then on to Times Square. Suddenly you realize this town's number one on New York loves just Here she is, the Statue of Liberty, and for a lot of us it's our first time seeing her, so we're also honored to be in the view of such an 
iconic piece of New York. You know, it never gets old. It just, every time I'm at the statue, it's just, it's very impressive to me. The view was fantastic. The Statue of Liberty was so beautiful. But now we are off to the next adventure. Bye. It's a place where you can play. It's buzzing night and day. A feeling you can't deny. We're going to see School of Rock. So it's been my dream to watch Broadway in New York. And we're here. We're having so much fun. It's amazing to be here. I get what people live here. So awesome. I live here too. This is my first time to be in New York and I'm so excited. It's so beautiful. Gorgeous. It's a place where you can play. It's buzzing night. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay. You oh. can't deny. <laughs> People come from all around to It was such a happy day for all the girls. It's the apple of everybody's eye. Now down to the village. Yeah, rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> This year, Miss World has headed stateside, and we're in Washington, the nation's historic capital. We had a very warm welcome, and it's been a great opportunity to visit some of the most famous sites in the country, including two classic buildings that sit at the very heart of American democracy. to stand in front of the White House. I feel like I'm walking through history every step I take here in Washington, D.C. It's cold, but it's beautiful. It's different from my country. I always dreamt of coming to the White House. That's a dream come true. But it wasn't all sightseeing. No. Other events included the Metro Cooking D.C. Challenge, where the contestants had to impress a panel of top chefs. Thank you guys well so done. much. Oh my god. <laughs> I think the seasoning is there. It's a great presentation. shared a special day with the children from the Tream Academy. We use our beauty for really a purpose, and this competition has a purpose. Difficulty and hardship should never be the setback. They can always be used as fuel. The second part of our visit took us across the Potomac River, and what better way to travel? We're on our way to the National Harbor, and I'm so, so excited. Tonight's gonna be a really big night, and I can't wait. We've been here for three weeks, and it runs so fast. So big evening, Gala. We're really looking forward to it. But I'm a little bit nervous also. We're gonna go in between the two small ones just up ahead. Tonight's the night we have the final. We've been working for this for over three weeks now and so excited. This is what we've been preparing for. Yeah. All of our rehearsals. I all of our sit, yeah. We all enjoyed a titanic voyage and fortunately this time, there was a happy ending. Our arrival in Maryland at the National Harbor coincided with the opening of the new MGM Resort, the venue for this year's live final. There's only one way to mark the holiday season here. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! We visited the spectacular venue where our contestants were welcomed by the MGM Resort's president, Bill Hornbuckle. There was also time for a souvenir picture with General Manager Bill Bosberg. And a chance to enjoy some top flight entertainment. Find 
is so excited to be at the MGM. It's beautiful. It's spectacular. I'm very excited to show what we're going to be here. Guess who was Miss Wall? The lady from Spain, from Barcelona, from the same place I come from. That's a good omen. MGM is going to do great at National Harbor. Everything is so lighted up and everything is so pretty and beautiful. Miss World here at the MGM National Harbor. I am accompanied by two very important people. I'm with Chief Mandela, who has been a part of Beauty with a Purpose. Now, how important is Beauty with a Purpose? For me, uh, Beauty with a Purpose is about reaching out to impoverished communities around the world and effecting change. All right, and I'm also with Dr. Ben Frederick, who I've traveled with to Haiti for the water project. Dr. Ben, you have a special surprise for us tonight. I do, Megan. I'm deeply uh, impressed with Beauty with a Purpose, and I'm here to announce that the Penn State University College of Medicine has partnered with us to establish a scholarship in Julia's name for medical students that will not only honor her, but it will um, continue on the legacy that she has started. Such a great thing happening tonight and many more to come, but now Jason is backstage with our 20 quarter finalists. Yes, Jason. I am. Yes, I am. And I have the results. Only 10 can move on to the semifinals, so good luck, ladies. It's a good looking group. All right, our first semi finalist is Philippines. I work as a commercial and fashion model. I also dabble in a bit of hosting, singing, and in my free time, I like to travel and I write about my travels on my blog. Becoming a young adult. I kind of found myself in a situation where I felt that I was in this closed off little bubble. That's why I wanted to go out and do charity work. I work with a charity called Young Focus and what they do, they provide uh, educational programs, extracurricular activities and also school sponsorships. Uh, I was lucky enough over the past week to be selected as one of the finalists for Miss Well Talent. I love singing and I'm very passionate about music so it was really fulfilling to be able to showcase my voice in the talent competition. Tonight in the crowd are my parents, along with my other family, my aunts, my uncles. I know that when I get out stage later that I will feel the presence of the Filipinos. All right, our first semifinals of the night, Philippines. Now I know you do a lot, you sing, you write, and you're doing so much, but what is the ultimate purpose of everything that you do? Well, like any creative, my purpose is to make people think, feel, and ultimately connect with one another. Like, you know, when a song makes you feel like no matter what you're going through, you're not alone. And if I can contribute to society and somehow give back to the community, I have achieved my creative purpose. Well, I hope you're able to do that and continue on doing that. Congratulations. Okay, so our second semi-finalist. Ready, ladies? Indonesia! The proudest moment in my life when I was winning the competition of Miss Indonesia, at the first time, I have no experience at all in pageants world, in modeling, or even in the entertainment. Yeah, I'm so passionate about dance because I already danced in, uh, since I was a little kid. And until now, I still dance. Maybe I'm not that pro, but I really love when I'm dancing. I'm feeling that I can inspire people as well. So right now, I have bachelor degree in economics because I really love and I'm passionate about business. I want to teach all the kids how to become a good person in life. I really look forward to the most spectacular uh, Miss World 2016. All right, Indonesia, you are our Beauty with a Purpose winner, and you were talking about how you wanted to help children. How do you do so by living for others? In this life, I have one desire that I will always to become an impact and also a blessing for others' life, for my beloved country, Indonesia. 
and for this world. <laughs> That's why I always knowing that my life is not mine, but also it's my responsibility to share my life, to share my blessings that I already had to others in this life, in this world, and to use my potential, maximize my potential in order to give back to communities. Thank you. Thank you so much, Indonesia. Congratulations once again. Okay, our third semi-finalist is Belgium. I'm a third year medical student. At first I didn't know that I wanted to become a doctor, so it, I wasn't like the little kid who wanted to become a doctor. But when I started reading about health, I was so interested and it really became like a passion. I was so proud that I made it because in uh, high school I didn't do science, so my background wasn't very good, so I had to work very hard for it but I succeeded and I've been doing like three internships and I worked with little children. It was so much fun and I saw that they really enjoyed it so I enjoyed it too and I was happy that I could mean something to them. My parents are coming, my license holder and my aunt and uh, uncle. Unfortunately, my sisters aren't here but I'm sure that they are supporting from uh, the TV in Belgium. Oh, Miss Belgium, you said duty in Belgium. Are they also doctors? Excuse me? Are your sisters also doctors? No, they're not doctors, but they are fantastic. But I'm sure they're watching you right now. And you mentioned earlier how you want to help out, you know, in your own way. So how do you think you can make the world a, a better place in your own way? I think being healthy is the most important thing in life. And I wish for everyone to be healthy or at least to have access to uh, healthcare. So I want to be a part in that and that's why I'm studying medicine to become a doctor. Fantastic work, fantastic. Please keep it up and congratulations to you, Belgium. All right. Okay, so our fourth semi-finalist is from Brazil. <laughs> What makes me laugh? Well, sometimes I laugh about myself because <laughs> um, I catch myself talking to myself in public and people like staring at me and I realize that I just stop laughing at it and sometimes I get like crazy. <laughs> I left home when I was 14 and I traveled the world by myself without my parents. So I kind of grew up in the world. I'm in a law school and when I finish, I intend to become an international lawyer so I can help vulnerable people around the world. I intend to work as well with uh, women and child abused and also uh, women that have suffered domestic violence. Every day that I get to wake up, I have new dreams. And I think when it is the right time, it's gonna happen. All right, Miss Brazil. Now, like you said earlier, you left home at such a young age. What, tell us what you're doing now. Now I'm in law school, and when I finish, I intend to focus my work, working with um, child abuse and women that have suffered domestic violence, working towards that, I think I can really help. And once I, with, if I become Miss World, I want to make this also a global platform. All right. Well, I'm, I'm sure you are a pillar of inspiration to the youth. Congratulations, Brazil. Okay, okay, ladies. How we doing? You doing all right? Yeah? <laughs> Lots of nervous giggles. <laughs> Our fifth semi-finalist is Kenya.
Hi, I'm currently a student. I'm studying interior design with information technology. From the time I was small, like at the age of 10, I used to rearrange furniture in my father's house. So it's just been a passion of mine to decorate and um, come up with new ideas, fresh ideas for rooms and interior spaces. My dream is to be a news anchor. Yes. I know, they're two different things, completely different from interior design and news anchoring, but I've always wanted to be a voice uh, for stories in Africa which are not usually covered. I drew a lot of inspiration from Mother Teresa, her way of life and the inspirational quotes she usually has, and that's what my aspiration in life is, to just bring joy to people and make others happy. I'm sure you make a lot of people happy and you're very ambitious, ambitious, but what would you say is your biggest dream? My biggest dream is to be a mentor, someone who other girls can look up to, to draw inspiration, motivation, and encouragement. Yes. All right, well, I'm sure you already are one. Congratulations, Kenya. When we return, our next five semifinalists will be revealed. Don't go away. to Miss World. Now we know that Philippines, Indonesia, Belgium, Brazil, and Kenya have made the top 10, but we only have five spots left. Jason. Yes, okay, so back to it, ladies. Our sixth semi-finalist is from the United States. <laughs> love and a sense of community. I grew up playing ice hockey, soccer, and volleyball. Sports were my life. After graduating high school, I studied public relations and communications at North Dakota State University. Ultimately, I decided to follow my childhood dream and move to Miami to pursue a career in modeling and hosting. Being the current Miss World America, I'm able to carry out my passion for children, have the chance to create change, to be a voice for causes near and dear to my heart, and to share compassion with those who are in need. My grandfather's from the Philippines, and he moved to the United States to create a better life for his family. He raised four beautiful children, and he's a shining example that anything is possible here. All right, United States. So Miss World is all about beauty with a purpose, but do you feel that there's some kind of incorrect stereotype when it comes to contests? I do. I feel like when you introduce yourself to somebody and they find out that you've competed in a beauty pageant, they kind of have this reaction. Um, but I've spent the last three weeks with the most incredible women I've ever met in my entire life. And the most talented women. Malta is the most incredible dancer I've ever seen. My roommate is in law school, Australia. So we have so many different things to offer, I think. Um, and when they really dive in and realize what beauty pageants, and not just that, but what Miss World has to offer. It's incredibly special. Thank you. All right, thank you, and we hope to change that. Thank you, United States. All right, you want to give a little shout out back? Yes, I'll have to give a shout out to America. She gave me so many clothes to wear. She had such a good wardrobe. <laughs> Best roommate. <laughs> awesome, awesome, all right. There's a lot of camaraderie here, a lot of camaraderie. Okay, so our seventh semi-finalist is from the People's Republic of China. It's a memorable moment when I was received a letter from my dream college. My first major is modeling and branding promotion, and the second major is luxury management. I like painting and uh, I'm prepared for my graduation design show. I try to design clothes by myself. It's difficult but interesting. I want to be a 
fashion designer in the future. My parents will be go. The China fine, uh, they don't come, but they think uh, it's important because maybe in my life only have one time I can stand the stage of the world. All right, People's Republic of China. Now, when you travel, you always want to bring home something important. What kind of souvenir do you think you're going to bring home from the pageant this year? Mm, I bought a t-shirt and I write down all of the contestants, the signage, write down it. And uh, I think it was very pictured. All right, that is so sweet, and you will have such a great memory of that. Thank you, and congratulations. Okay, so we have three semifinalists left. Our eighth is from the Dominican Republic. <laughs> One of my proudest moments in life so far was being able to bring a child into this world. I was working as a nurse, so I was able to help in a delivery, and it was so <laughs> amazing. And just see the mother and see this kid coming out and knowing that you were able to be there and, and help. I wanted to take care of the people of my neighborhood, and I felt like that was the like that was a good way to do it and I felt so so good I felt so happy about it it will definitely be always a part of my life I even decided to change my careers at first I was doing nursery and then I, I thought of continuing with medicine but I changed to social communications right now as a journalism student I feel like I can be the voice and the face of the people well for the Miss World finale uh, of course like there's nerves because you never know what's going to happen but I'm also just gonna try and do my best I'm gonna take with me a lot of good memories and I'm also just gonna take with me lots of friends congratulations Dominican Republic now I know you have a lot planned probably for the future but I want to know what is your main objective in the future life that you have? My main objective in life is to be a better version of myself every single day. So even if it's a small thing that I could be, uh, that I could be represent people and their heart, I know how to work hard is. I come from a very poor, humble background, but that never stopped me. Instead, that encouraged me to keep on reaching out for my dreams. And I wanna tell people that it doesn't matter where you're from, your color, your race, you can always accomplish your dreams if you work hard. Well, keep on going, keep on going. Congratulations, Dominican Republic. Okay, so. Our ninth semi-finalist is from Puerto Rico. Well, I'm currently a student at Pace University in New York City, and I'm studying uh, to obtain a double major in communications and pre-law. So I'm also very passionate about the arts, especially music and musical theater. And once I feel confident in both um, areas, I would like to see where life takes me. Some things that make me very happy are whenever I'm with my nieces and I see their innocence. The little one, if I, if I don't pay attention to her, and she'll call me Titi Stephanie Miss World. Like that's like my full name now. My biggest life-changing moment would have to be the first time that I was able to be an ambassador for Puerto Rico, and I traveled with the San Juan Children's Choir. But what made that trip so life-changing was that was the first time I experienced real poverty. And it shocked me because I saw it through the eyes of a child that was the exact same age as me. Knowing Puerto Ricans, I know for sure that my family and the people that are coming to support me are going to be the loudest. All right, congratulations, Puerto Rico. Now, I know you're quite young, but what has shaped you to probably become the person that you are today? Well, I have to dedicate who I am today to my passion for music. When I was four, I was part of the, chan of the San Juan Children's Choir, and there is where I learned to be independent, where I learned dedication, where I learned how to be resilient, and I definitely am so thankful for everything that has come to my life thanks to music. Well, congratulations to you, and you're a great person today. Congratulations, Puerto Rico. 
Okay, so for most of you here, the journey is going to end tonight, but we want to wish you, I want to wish you the best of luck. I know all of you are going to do absolutely amazing things. Surrounded by a bunch of amazing women right now. But our 10th and final semifinalist is from Korea. I have been drawing and painting for as long as I can remember, and I have been teaching art to underprivileged children through a local nonprofit organization since I was in high school. I'm, I'm currently studying fine arts at University of Southern California, so after I get my bachelor's degree of fine arts, I am going to continue to master's degree of fine arts and psychology to become a professional art therapist. When I was 13 years old, my mother was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. It was hard for me to be alone and to go through that time by myself. Art was the only way I can express my sadness and my anger and my disappointments in the world. And through drawing and painting, I always got healing. All right, our 10th semifinalist. Now, Korea, you said that art is really important to you and you want to share that with the people around you. Yes, I do. Art has always been my best friend, a life teacher, and a healer. And I want to share those wonderful powers of art by becoming an art therapist who takes care after the broken hearts, especially of children. Because today, children are burdened by the demanding society, and they're hindered from expressing their true selves. Thank you, Korea, and congratulations to you. Congratulations to our 10 semifinalists. Or, or is it really 10? Because now it is time to reveal the people's choice. That is correct. The winner of the people's choice is guaranteed her place in the semifinal. So if she's not out there, there's gonna be one more lady from back here that will be out on that stage. So, the winner of Miss World, People's Choice is... Mongolia! For me, Miss World is a very beautiful platform which inspires people around the world to make them dream more, learn more, do more. My life-changing moment was when I decided to quit my office job to pursue my childhood dream to become an actress three years ago, actually. And also this road led me to Miss World somehow, so I'm sure that if I didn't make that decision, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be here today. In my talent show, I did uh, perform Mongolian magical calligraphy. Everybody loved it, and uh, I really hope that um, maybe in the final night, maybe I will perform. My lovely mom and dad are watching me on television today and I love them so much and thank you so much for everyone who is cheering me for this journey. Well, you did perform your talent and that's a great thing. And it was a little bit crazy if you think about it. So what's another crazy thing that you say you've done in your life? I'm an adventurous soul. Last year I set a journey to discover what it is like to live in the wild as a nomad. So I spent two months with 2,000 animals herding goats and sheep and delivered calf and you know like lost some animals to walls. So I think that it is really important to um, make ma uh, uh, to matter your own culture in order to respect and understand others' culture. So I believe that my uh, purpose uh, um, back to the roots documentary film will inspire many people to preserve cultural identity. Thank you. Congratulations, Mongolia. So there they are, your 11 semi-finalists. After this break, a special tribute to Beauty with a Purpose.
First created in 1971, Beauty with a Purpose is Julia Morley's legacy. It sits firmly at the very heart of Miss World, a charity that has lasted over 45 years and has raised hundreds of millions of pounds for disadvantaged children worldwide. This, however, is no ordinary charity. Beauty with a Purpose has immense depth and uses a multifaceted approach in helping its many worthy causes. Beauty with a Purpose commits itself annually to many charities across the globe. It identifies problems, creates a solution, and either fundraises or finances the operation. Another facet of Beauty with a Purpose involves fundraising and finance, where it works closely with charitable organizations in a drive to raise awareness and much needed money for specific causes. The most gratifying part of the exercise was when I was able to hand over a check for $300,000 from the fund to the Jamaica Red Cross Society. The three-story building that will be renovated and become the new child care and preschool center for the youth of Smoky Mountain. This will actually allow for the capacity of 80 children to be expanded up to 400. Beauty with a Purpose has literally saved thousands of lives and empowered young people. And the final facet of Beauty with a Purpose is in support for its partner charities, such as the Variety International Telethons. I am here today with other members of the Variety International Fund to make a difference. Supporting their efforts as a consolidated team. The children are all so friendly, and yet it's obvious that they need additional help and care. Uh, and we're going to do what we can to help them. Every child uh, is entitled to uh, an opportunity to live, to love, to laugh, to be secure. It's been my honor since 1971 when I introduced Beauty with a Purpose to realize that every parent, every girl over that many years is now still involved with me across the world. Nelson Mandela salutes the Beauty with a Purpose program which helps children worldwide and which also mobilizes young people to be involved in their own country with a useful purpose to assist disadvantaged children. This gives tens of thousands of young women every year the opportunity to make a real and lasting contribution to the lives of the sick and disadvantaged. It's not just about wearing a crown. Is it about what you use this crown to do? And for me, the most important thing is to impact on those who are less fortunate in society. This three-tiered approach makes beauty with a purpose unique in helping the disadvantaged global population today. Priyadarshini Academy would like to recognize Ms. Morley's outstanding humanitarian contribution to help children in over 100 countries lead a better life. Julia Morley is the heart and soul of this charity, and her strength, determination, and drive is unparalleled in her humanitarian pursuit for the betterment of children's lives across the planet. To pay tribute to the work of all the contestants and the Beauty with a program, Purpose program, please welcome Roderick Dixon,
When we return, our top five shall be revealed. It's time to reveal our five final for Miss World 2016. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, in no particular order. Our first finalist is Second finalist is Puerto Rico. Our third finalist is. Indonesia! <laughs> Two more to go. Our fourth finalist is... There they are, our five finalists. Join us after the break. Miss World 2016. Ladies, it is time to face your final question. So, Miss Kenya, if you can come join me, please. Let's hear from Miss Kenya. How are you doing? Okay. Face this way. Take the mic. What can we do to improve education in the world? 
what we can do to improve education in the world obviously begins with empowering every child to understand that education is important. And Nelson Mandela said that it is the weapon that a child can use to face the future. So first, let's educate our parents that education is important, and then we shall have all children on board to achieve their dreams. Beautiful, well done. Let's hear from Miss Kenya. Beautiful, beautiful. If I could be joined by Miss Puerto Rico. Let's hear from Miss Puerto Rico. All right, how are you feeling, are you good? I'm good, I'm good, yeah. All right, here's your question. Thank you. My question is, if you have an opportunity to change something about the world, what would it be? If I had an opportunity to change something about the world, I think what I would do is send the message of how important it is to change exclusion for acceptance, to promote and provide justice for others, and the importance of helping those in need. Thank you. Well done. Okay, Miss Indonesia. Let's hear from Miss Indonesia. Okay, how are you feeling? I'm so grateful. <laughs> That's the right thing. Okay, here's your question. My question is, how would you convince others to help their communities? How to convince others is have to start from myself first, then to start with love, then other people could see our sincere and they can inspire on how, what we do, and then can uh, continue it and share it to others again. And then one word can be one and can inspire all the world with love. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Indonesia. Ms. Dominican Republic. How are you feeling? <laughs> Nervous. Nervous, it's okay. You're gonna do great. You're gonna do great. Am I? My question is what do you think we should be teaching the next generation about protecting our planet? I think we should be teaching our next generation to protect our planet. This is the only one we have. We shall protect Mother Earth. We should all be together and encourage communities and, co and contribute with making campaigns so people can collect their trash. We have already global warming. We cannot stop it, but we can enhance opportunities to make it better. Well done. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Philippines. Last and certainly not least. How are you? Yeah. Yep. Yep, you're like, let's get to business. There you go, take the mic. Thank you. My question is, which qualities do you think it will take to wear my crown? I think, first of all, it takes bravery. To be in this world is to carry a burning torch. It is an like action carried out by one to illuminate the lives of many. And I would dedicate my whole self, my love for the arts, and my voice to trying to uplift, empower, and educate people. And it would be my greatest honor and duty to hold this torch high enough so that all the world could feel and see its light. Well done. Well done. Well, there you have it. They're excited. Are you excited? After the break, we're going to say goodbye to Miss World 2015, Mira La Laguna. Miss World 2016. Right now, we have the Morrison Brothers Band on stage performing Party in My House. Punch. 
sweet moment when you hand on the crown. I mean, I should know that part, right, Jason? I know. You know better than any of these. Is there any parting words you have for these girls? Well, girls, you know, it's another step in the life. And for Maria, we'll find out and take a look at her journey over the past year. I remember when I was crowned, I was completely shocked. I couldn't believe that the judges chosen me out to 120 guests, it was unbelievable. It has been a year, plenty of challenges, but now I can say that I'm a better human being now. One of the most remarkable trips in my journey was a trip in Kenya last May. We were taking part in the Smile Train program. We were visiting for five days different hospitals in Kenya. In Africa, the cleft palate is still a very big problem. So with the Beat With The Purpose project, we were giving free operations to the children there. One of my highlights of this year was to see the improvement in the Brian Knoll School in London. It's a very special school where they take care of children with special needs. With this World Organization, we gave free sensory equipment for the children and it was incredible to see how the little help we gave in this
this new sensory equipment went a long way. It's very nice to see how happy they look with the new equipment, so we are very proud to take part in it. One of my last trips as Miss World was actually one month ago, visiting in Philippines the General Hospital there, and also the Tulong Foundation. They are taking children from the street that they have nothing, no education, no food, and they gave them a new life. My beauty with the purpose project was to help children with outings in a school near my house. And I raised $20,000 doing a spot with Cristiano Ronaldo. And I decided to give this money to that school so that they could improve their equipment and their facilities. And I'm very proud of my decision. My advice for the next Miss World would be to have an open mind. It's going to be an incredible adventure, so enjoy it and learn how to be a better person. For the very last time, show your appreciation for Miss World 2015, Mireya La Laguna. Join us after the break when we'll be crowning a new Miss World. Chairman and CEO of Miss World, Julia Morley. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will, as is customary, announce the results in reverse order. In third place is In second place is Dominican Republic. And the winner of Miss World 2016 is
Stephanie Delval from Puerto Rico is Miss World 2016.